Hi everyone, welcome to today's devotion. You know, I think one thing that we all have in common is the hope that something will change. Life will be different. It will be better in 2021. The pandemic will calm down. We will get rid of those bad habits. We will exercise more, eat healthier, read our Bible more, judge less, and love more. Well, then a few weeks go by nothing has changed and we haven't done anything different <clears throat> so maybe we get discouraged maybe it's the second third time that we've tried to break that habit so do we give up no because it's a new day here's a thought what if every spring the flowers just gave up on blooming what if our birds that migrate decided it's just too hard to fly back, it's too much work. Or worse yet, what if Christ had not come to earth as a baby or hadn't risen from the dead? But here's the thing, God didn't give up on us. He did send his son. So we have Jesus' resurrection power. We do have hope for permanent life changes. So let's start this year. Let's start every day by reflecting on God's power, his heart to comfort, and his ability to shepherd. Let's make space for God to create new beginnings in our lives. We all have areas in our lives that could use a fresh start. So now is the perfect time to allow God to fill us up with new life. Lamentations 3, verses 22 and 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So do not overwhelm yourself with the things that you want to do better, the things that you want to change. Let God free you from what weighs you down. God has limitless powerful grace for you today. Remember, we can't just do it with our own willpower. It's based on God's power. So seek God and ask him what you might need to work on in your life, spiritually, financially, maybe your relationships, or maybe it's your health. Seek his righteousness, his peace, his joy. Seek to please the Lord and you will find that things will fall into place according to his will for you. So do we give up? No. Trust in God's faithfulness every day and be confident in his great promises for the future. A new day, a new year marks new beginnings. It's time for us, the children of God, to reground ourselves in the love of our Heavenly Father. Exodus thirty-three, fourteen. the Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. It's a new day, so don't look in the rearview mirror at 2020. It's a new day. Fix your eyes on Jesus and press on. It's a new day. Shake off the dust and get back in the race so that one day when you finally cross the finish line, you will hear the words, well done, my good and faithful servant. Jesus Christ is our perfect example to follow. His word is our perfect guidebook. His spirit is our perfect companion. So open your heart to him today and receive the newness of life.
miss you. I hope you have a great day. Peace be with you.